for this evening's matchup between the Raiders and the Colts. Hello friends, Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims and Phil, we've prepared for this game by talking to the players and the coaches. What do you expect? Jim, you know, just talking to the coaches, talking to both of them, how fired up they were. So if the coaches are that fired up, can you imagine how the players are going to be? Their emotions are going to be at sky high level. That means we are going to have a hard hitting game. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. What's the word from down by the benches? Danielle Bellini has the latest. Thanks, guys. Speaking with the players and coaches throughout the week, it's easy to see one focus will be controlling the clock in today's game. They want to win the time of possession battle, and they want to win it decisively, guys. If they can control the pace of the game, they feel like there's no reason they can't win it today. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Colts are ready to kick it away. Jacoby Ford with a chance to return one. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Out of Ohio State quarterback Terrell Pryor. Terrell Pryor in his only start last year against the San Diego Chargers. I thought he played pretty well. The, the man is a giant, every bit of six foot six. He has a decent throwing arm, but the thing that's going to give him a chance to have success in the NFL is the fact that he can run. First down and 10. Darren McFadden will run with it. Darren McFadden, when he's healthy, he's one of the biggest threats out of the backfield in the league. You remember Darren McFadden at the University of Arkansas? He was a wildcat quarterback, and he was good at it. But you said it, if he stays healthy, he can be a top 10 running back in the league. This will be second down. Throws to the right, wide open for the catch. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Setting up a little screen. Ball slipped out of his hands. He's a pass rushing demon out of Alabama A&M. Multi-time Pro Bowler Robert Mathis. No matter where he lines up, the offense always knows where Robert Mathis is. You better double team him or he's going to be hitting your quarterback. Moore is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and ten. McFadden's going to take the handoff from the eye. Imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Uh, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. The Colts with a nickel look here on defense. Third and five. Looking to the right side and throwing. Was made, but the first down is picked up. When the defense is going to play safe and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards the sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. They've got a first down now after that catch. Play action fake, looking to throw. the incomplete pass it brings up second down they'll run it here's the handoff that's a gain of six
Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. Pryor's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Looks to his left. And he's almost intercepted. Well, I guess the quarterback thought the coverage was a little too tight, so he just threw the football completely away from the receiver that time. 